This is the weather forecast video for Sunday, March 11th, 2012. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see there's the storm system over the central and southern plains that'll be moving in later today across the region with some showers and maybe even a rumble of thunder or two. And hopefully you moved your clocks ahead an hour. Otherwise, you're an hour late. Watch the morning map from just before midnight central standard time you can see some winter weather advisories over New Mexico some winter weather issues across the mountains of the Pacific Northwest otherwise it's fairly quiet for the day QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Thursday evening at seven o'clock shows the heaviest amounts of rain will be over Texas Oklahoma and Arkansas where up to two to three inches of rain are possible around here about a quarter to maybe a third of an inch of rain possible with this storm so let's take a look at it, the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 7 p.m. this evening, and you can see there's the storm over the middle part of the country with the energy and the moisture coming up from the Gulf, be coming in late in the afternoon over the southern counties to the evening over the northern counties with some showers and rumbles of thunder into Monday. By Monday evening, the storm will be gone and skies will be clearing. It'll be mainly a Sunday night through Monday morning event and temperatures behind it aren't cooling off. In fact, they warm up. The winds turn southerly and temperatures run up into the 70s here on Tuesday and it's going to remain in the 70s or the upper 60s to mid to upper 70s all week long. But the model wants to show a little bit of precipitation. There could be an isolated shower and this and it may even be an isolated popcorn thunderstorm as warm as it is so that'll be an interesting twist we'll have isolated showers and maybe a rumble of thunder but the chances are 20 percent or less so not everybody gets wet the chances get a little bit better as we head to friday here with a new storm coming in from the north and west chances on friday about 20 to maybe 30 percent and here's Saturday, the low is way to the north over Saskatchewan, but we still have gusty winds, some showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, and it's still going to be in the 60s and 70s. And even a week from today, on the 18th, trough over the west, ridge over the east, and when you have a trough over the west and a ridge over the east, that typically means we'll have a pretty big storm system, low pressure over south dakota and another over in colorado and another one developing over the intermountain west that'll be coming through a late a couple days after this so more rain possible a couple days after on the 20th that storm we saw digging in from the south into southern california now kicks out into the plains with the energy over nebraska and kansas and with that low pressure over western iowa and that could be some severe weather activity if possible with some showers thunderstorms maybe even a bit of some snow will cross the mountains in the high elevation and heading to the 25th another peace energy over the u.s canadian border with a ridge still over the south and southeastern states and that means another storm low pressure a little further north and most of the precipitation will be to our north although we'll see some scattered activity around here and still warm by the way and even a day later at the end of the forecast high pressure comes in but does it really get cold not really it, in fact this may be actually cooler than it has been maybe down into the 50s oh my gosh a cold wave thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video we'll have another one on monday